that's we're gonna change this one it's just a radiator overflow hose so it had the silicone one but i want to i want the factory look so i don't like this i'm gonna install this guy just a black plain hose So I took out this assembly, this connects right here to the fuel line from the tank. But my main concern is this guy, this crimped on hose. It's getting pretty bad. So I have to do something about it. I have to do the preventive maintenance. So yeah, what I'm probably gonna do is just cut this and then just install a regular hose, fuel hose on it with a clamp. All right, guys, really quick, this is what I did. I took off that fitting, which is right here. So you have to be really, really careful when you're taking it off. Don't just like start prying on and everything as you can start like a hairline crack on it. So just be really, really careful. And yeah, this is what you're gonna have. And then you're gonna slide a hose over it. And just use the regular clamp. Yeah, and that's it. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Today, we're gonna be working on this amazing machine, 1976 Mercedes 240D. All right, guys, the car is jacked up and uh, it's actually, yeah, it is right there on jack stand. I think it just sunk in a little bit, that's why. Um, but it's jacked up, so we're gonna start working on the front brake system. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be replacing the brakes. So I got new rotors for it. I've got wheel seals because I wanna re-grease the bearings and all that while I'm doing it. Caliper repair kits, calipers are super bad, most likely. Got new pads, also got new brake hoses too. All right, so I'm getting ready to paint those rotors actually. I'm gonna paint them and in the meantime, these pads, there's nothing left absolutely on these pads. Yep rotors everything is getting changed here there's a funny thing i noticed look at this it's missing a grommet it's a big safety concern because this hose can eventually rub through be without that rubber grommet in there so i'm gonna have to get a new grommet i'm mainly just focusing on the area where the brake pads are not gonna uh rub because you know this is not necessary to paint so what you want to do is before you loosen uh, take this caliper out you need to loosen all these bolts right here the bleeder screw everything that you can while it's still on the car also just took off the bearing cap by tapping it carefully all the way around looks like somebody redid the bearings but i don't know if they put enough grease so i'm gonna redo that since i'm replacing the rotors anyways yeah now i'm gonna loosen these uh, mounting bolts for the caliper also gotta loosen this uh, line. So now here's what we have. Okay, so the brake hose is still connected, so you can do it multiple different ways. You can take it all out and then put compressed air. And I'm gonna try to actually like press on the brake pedal, so hydraulic pressure can push these pistons out. Yeah, one of these pistons I know is fine, but the other one is pretty tired. Well, that method wasn't working too well. I just decided to take this caliper out. So this line is loose. I just have to turn the caliper, take the line off. All right, so the caliper is right there. It's off hose. I just clamped it right now. So the brake fluid is not getting, it's not leaking out at the moment. And now I'm gonna focus on the rotor and help and replace this side. I'll loosen this uh, six millimeter Allen. I'm taking this nut out and that's it after that we're gonna take this whole thing out the whole assembly okay make sure you're being very very clean with the bearings it's very important and don't damage these spindle threads put it right here clean place now you literally just grab it and slide the whole thing out so carefully Right now I'm gonna clean these bearings and re-grease them. Same with this. The funny thing is like this bearing was stuck onto the spindle. Had to work a little bit with some tools. I have new wheel seals, so we're gonna go get all of this taken care of. All right, so I got something funny to show you. 
Look at this. The web and look at the spider. Poor little guy, huh? how long he's been here for but he had a pretty nice place over here yep so anyways the rotor and the hub i bolted up to the wheel now i'm gonna grab my tool i think it's a eight or ten millimeter allen i'm gonna start loosening these bolts that are holding the rotor to the hub yep and now i'm gonna repaint that uh, uh mm, the dust cover yep backing plate i'm gonna sand it down too a little bit yeah, and I uh, got the rotors ready all the way there. Paint it up too. I'm gonna clean everything here pretty well. Really important that the rotor sits flush. Alright, All right, now we're ready to install this rotor on. Surface is really nice, prepped. Put just a little bit of grease right here on the surface. Like so. And then line everything up. Like that, nicely. And go ahead, start installing the bolts. Really important, guys, that you torque these really, really tight. You don't want them coming apart while driving. It's gonna be a serious damage if you if that happens to you. So make sure these are torqued and start crisscross pattern too. All right, everything here is getting greased up, or not greased up, but cleaned up on the inside pretty good. I'm going to start repacking those bearings too. All right guys, so here is the inner bearing. It's all greased up, repacked. That one is also repacked. As you can see, grease is being squeezed down. I just did it by hand, holding grease in my hand and, um, you know, putting grease in, just feeding it into the bearing. And now, uh, gonna install brand new seal on the inside right here and then I'm gonna focus what I want to do is I want to repaint this backing plate I took it off as you can see it has a crack in there but it's been like that for a while it seems like but I'm gonna sand everything down and just kind of yeah I might actually put a little bit of uh, JB weld on it yeah once I repaint it and everything yeah but first I want to just kind of sand it down clean it up before paint the new seal. Let's see. I'm gonna install the seal. Need a little bit of uh, help. Alright, so I got the backing plate cleaned up and sanded as much as possible. And then we're gonna paint it. Right now I'm waiting for this to dry and then after that I'll be applying this black glossy paint on it. All right, the backing plate is all installed. As you can see, put a little bit of JB Weld right there. It's not gonna hurt anything. And I don't know if I'm gonna wait for it to dry so I can put paint, 
black paint on or not, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just happy the way this backing plate looks now. It's all cleaned up and yeah, I'm about to put grease here and start installing my assembly. bearing now as well exciting all right so for the adjustment you can refer to the video it's gonna be above here and that way you can see how to do it but I have my own methods of doing it and I've been doing it for years without any issues all right everything is tightened up greased up fresh grease and go ahead and close the cap My battery is about to die, but I'm going to finish up this side tonight for the exception of those two calipers because I still have to take them apart and rebuild them. But I, at least I want to install rotors and everything on here so it's all fresh and ready to go. And after that, I'll just have to install the new brake hose and calipers. This side is going to look smoother, so but it seems like it was leaking right here. Grease a little bit. I don't know what that's about, but that's okay. I take this backing plate off, clean it, sand it, and repaint it. Alright guys, so it's been like probably five days. I'm still waiting on some parts. Here's the caliper I'm gonna install on this side. I'm gonna install new brake hose. However, I'm not gonna install it completely because you see this grommet, I'm waiting on these grommets. These grommets are super important. The brake hose goes through these grommets and you wanna have that brake hose, guys. Really important. As you can see, started putting grease everywhere here and there for preservation and fluid film as well. All right, everything got looped up with brake grease here. I'm gonna start installing these things. There you go. Very nice. Make sure they move nice and good. It's really important to put grease on these pins so they don't rust in. Yeah, and then finish up by installing this last pin. So the car's been sitting on jack stands for about two, no, three weeks, I should say. All right, and that is because I've been having a lot of fun and issues with, you know, finding these grommets. Because the funny thing is, like, I looked up the, you know, the factory, you know, parts list and everything for these grommets that go on the brake hose because the, these grommets are missing literally on this car. And it's really bad because when I took out the old brake hoses, they were just, like, literally like shredded right here in the spot because obviously the wheel moves back and forth and if this keeps hitting the metal bracket without having this grommet in there it's gonna be really bad so that's why <laughs> you know and then uh so then i actually sourced this out which i'm gonna show you from napa so i found this grommet from napa 
uh, there's actually like an assortment of them and it fits really well so we're gonna go ahead and install these brake hoses another thing is the brake hose that i first got it had actually so you need to pay attention to that because the first one that i got was the, like this part was too thick so it wouldn't go through the bracket where it mounts to the brake line so i had to go back to the store get the right one so this one should work perfect yeah so hopefully today i can finish everything up and you know we can test drive the car finally Yep, this is what the brake hose looks like and uh, this grommet so i suggest for you to install this grommet onto the brake hose first it's gonna be easier all right so i installed the hose right there there's that ground grommet i put a little bit of silicone paste right there for preservation and now i can go ahead and push this grommet on all right guys here's the second side right here about to install that and then i'll just have to bleed the brakes all right guys so here's the brake hose and it goes going through that rubber grommet very important okay make sure both sides are in it's all in and i uh, just put some silicone paste right there for preservation and to help it you know prevent any wear yep now i just gotta bleed the brakes All right, so this is why you need to watch out. As you can see right here, you see how bad these hoses are? And this where this cracking right here happened because those grommets were missing. So this is really big deal. And as you can see right there, and right now those grommets are present. Still have to clean this area a little bit. I just finished bleeding the brakes and all that but everything is amazing here. Looking good, no leaks, calipers rebuilt, great stuff.